Former Prime Minister Tun Sri Mohidan Yassin failed in his bid to have his passport returned permanently to him. This was after the Sessions Court Judge Ashura Alwi dismissed the Pago MP's application. After examining and listening to the submissions of all parties, the court opines that the applicant Mohidin needs to present stronger reasons other than a holiday and medical checkup. In addition, the applicant is still facing three more charges of money laundering. Therefore, it is premature for the court to change the bail conditions, she said, adding that Mohidin could still apply for a temporary release of his passport and he would not be prejudiced. Bernama reported. On October 16, the Bersetu president filed the application on the basis that he needed the passport for a family holiday in London and a medical checkup in Singapore at the end of this year. Muhyiddin's counsel Datuk Seri K. Komarendran then requested the passport be returned yesterday as his client will start his holiday trip on December 15. Since the matter was not objected to by Deputy Public Prosecutor Ahmad Okram Garib, the court allowed for the document to be temporarily returned to Mohidin yesterday and ordered the passport to be returned to the court before January 15, 2024. Mohidin, who was clad in a black suit, was present. On October 2, he filed an application for the Sessions Court here to give him a discharge not amounting to an acquittal of the three charges of money, laundering amounting to RM 200 mil, relating to the Jenner Wibowa project. The politician is also facing two charges of receiving proceeds from unlawful activities amounting to RM 195 mil from Bukhari Equity, which was deposited into Bursetu's CIMB bank account. The offences were allegedly committed at CIMB Bank, Menoro KL Branch, Jalan Stesen Central here, between February 25 and July 16, 2021, and between February 8 and July 8, 2022. Muhyiddin was also charged at the Shah Alam Sessions Court on March 13 with receiving money from illegal activities amounting to RM5 mil. And the case has been transferred to the Sessions Court here for a joint trial. On August 15, the High Court acquitted and discharged Mohidin of four counts of abuse of power involving RM-232. Five mil, in connection with the Jenner Wibowa project. The prosecution then filed a notice of appeal at the Court of Appeal against the decision, and a hearing has been set for February 28 and 29 next year.